Let us convert 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 36 equals 0 to standard form. We all know that this equation is in general form where in lahat ng terms ay nasa isang side equation and the other side is a 0. And to make it in a standard form, we have two terms in the left side of the equation uh, in fractional form. Not and then, uh, the other side of the equation must be 1. So, to solve for this, we have uh, 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 36 equals 0. Again, uh, kailangan two terms lang nandito sa left side. So, i-isolate natin yung constant term para magka-obtain tayo ng 1. Okay, so we have 4x squared plus 9y squared is equal to positive 30. Six. Okay, and then, uh, whatever the constant here, ang target natin sa right side ay magiging 1. So, i-divide natin both sides of the equation by the constant term which is placed na dun sa ating uh, right side equation by 36, 36, then 36. Simplifying this, 4 over 36 is equal to 1 over 9. So, we have x squared over 9, then followed by plus 9 over 36 is equal to 1 over 4. So, we have y squared, itong nasa numerator, then over 4, then it is equal to 36 over 36 equals 1. So, x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1 is the final answer. Let us convert 3x squared plus 4y squared plus 24x minus 16y plus 52 equals 0 to standard form. So, it is way different for the first equation na sinolve natin kanina kasi ang center na inips natin ay nasa 0, 0 and in this equation, ang center natin ay nasa h, k. So, in here, pagsamahin natin yung mga like terms and yung constant term ay lipat natin dun sa kabila. So, we will have 3x squared then followed by a term na merong variable x so plus 24x and then plus 4y squared para sa variable y minus 16y and then it is equal to positive 52 magiging negative 52. Okay, and then, ikunin natin ang ating GCF para sa variable x. Ang GCF ng 3 and 24, numerical coefficients lang po ang pagkuha ng GCF. So, we have 3 times x squared. Okay, and then plus 24x divided by, by 3. So, we will have 8x. Okay, and then plus uh, 4 y squared, tsaka yung 16y. Okay, and GCF uh, ng 4 and 16 is 4. And then, isolate natin GCF. Then, divide uh, doon sa mga terms natin. 4y squared divided by 4, we have y squared minus 16. Divide by 4 equals 4. Then, we have y is equal to negative 52. Okay, so after getting the LCD, we are going to use the completing the square. So, completing the square, gagamitin natin yung b over 2 squared. So, para magamit natin siya, lagyan natin muna ng blank no, sa both sides of the equation. We have 3 times x squared plus 8x plus blank para maging perfect square trinomial yan. And then plus 4 times the quantity of y squared minus 4y plus blank equals negative 52. Okay, and then plus, i-add natin kung ano yung dinagdag natin doon sa left side. Maging 3 times blank plus 4 times blank. Okay, nakakasunod ba? So, nakita niyo balance yung ating uh, equation. So, nagagay din tayo ng blanks or yung mga unknown numbers dito and uh, meron kaakibat na GCF 
per blank kung anong nilagay natin dito sa left side. So, in here, uh, ano yung nilagay natin dito sa blank? So, gagamitin natin b over 2 squared. Okay, so, muna natin para kay variable x. So, dito sa trinomial na ito, ang b natin is 8. So, we have 8 over 2, then squared, it is equal to 8 divided by 2, that is 4, then squared, so 4 squared, that is 16. So, in 16, inalagay natin dito, 16 sa left side, and maglalagay din ng 16 sa right side. So, tapos na tayo sa variable x, then let us have the variable y. So, b over 2 squared is equal to, negative 4 over 2 which is yung b natin dito kay variable y is negative 4 then divide by 2 then squared it is equal to uh, negative 4 over 2 that is negative 2 then squared natin magiging 4 negative 2 squared times neg uh, negative 2 we will have 4 so lagay tayo ng 4 and then the other side is 4 Okay, so meron na tayong perfect square trinomials for the variable x and variable y. So, after getting the uh, last terms ng kada trinomial natin, okay, so ibang factor natin siya. So, we will have 3 times, okay, so since it is a perfect square trinomial, kunin lang natin yung kalahati ng b squared. So, we have x, uh, then kalahati ng 8, that is 4. 4, so, plus 4, then squared. Okay, and then plus 4 times the quantity of, para ma-factor naman ito trinomial, we have yung variable, and then ang kalahati ng negative 4, that is negative 2, and then squared. So, ganun lang ang pagka-factor ng ating perfect square trinomial. Then, it is equal to negative 52 plus uh, 3 times 16 plus 4 times 4. So, 3 times 16, that is 48. And then, 4 times 4 equals 16. So, negative 52 plus 48 plus 16, it is equal to 12. Okay? So, now, meron na tayong constant dito sa ating uh, right side equation. So, ang gagawin na natin is, uh, again, kapag meron tayong standard form, ang target natin dyan sa right side ay magiging 1. So, divide both sides of the equation by 12 and 12. So, simplifying this, yung fraction natin, we will have 3 over 12. Kapag simplifying, we have 1 over 4. So, 3 over 12, maging 1 over 4. So, it can be written as x plus 4 squared over 4. So, tapos sa tayo sa first term. Then, plus 4 over 12. It is equal to 1 over 3. So, we will have quantity y minus 2 squared over 3. Then, it is equal to 12 divided by 12 equals 1. So, the standard form of the given equation in general form is quantity x plus 4 squared over 4 plus quantity y minus 2 squared over 3 equals 1. For your activity, letter A, convert the following to general form, and B, convert the following to standard form. And here are the answers. I do hope that all your answers are correct. <laughs>